current affairs for 24th october 2016 the news items the first one justice delay keeps investors away so the chief justice of india justice thakur recently at a global forum on arbitration organized by niti ayog said that the low ranking of india on ease of doing business index which was recently released by world bank group has india rank at 130 out of 189 countries so he is also saying that the business investors are kept away from india because of judicial delays as well so the government should also address this so he is highlighting that the judiciary is overburdened and there needs to be more judicial appointments being made so there are many vacancies also which need to be filled plus the strength should be increased he had made another emotional appeal to the prime minister earlier on a similar forum in april 2016 when he asked for the government to hasten the process of appointment of judges to the high court so a similar appeal has been made right now to about the overburdened judiciary in context of even businesses been and this is on arbitration the actual conference was on arbitration so arbitration basically means that the entities who are involved in a dispute two or more entities together bring in an arbitrator a person mediator in between and find a solution rather than knocking the doors of the judiciary so that the process is also hastened they are not uh, dragged by judicial delays and it's a quick solution which can comes out so that was the what arbitration is all about but he says for even for this strengthening of the judicial system is still essential then the next news item is john k arriving today as nsg buzz is back so this is regarding the prime minister of new zealand john k who is visiting india presently he is on a three day visit starting today and we want membership to nuclear suppliers group and new zealand is amongst countries which is halting our entry to nsg nsg means nuclear suppliers group which is a grouping of 48 members which allows countries to have trade in nuclear technology so india wants to be a member here so that it can have trade with usa particularly because usa law requires that to have nuclear trade with any country that country should be a member of nsg so we are not been able to get entry to nsg2 because we are not ready to sign the nuclear non proliferation treaty which many countries insist on that we should sign nsg entry can come only through consensus means all members should agree for a new member to enter and the country leading this resistance to india's entry is of course china and china asks that npt should be signed by india and other to so that it gets an entry so the, these are this not china is not the only country new zealand is also among the countries who is resisting this bid because uh, others which two members of brics south africa and brazil also were against india's entry only on the grounds that it should sign npt and enter into nsg because that's what they did even with too much of internal resistance within the con- their own respective countries they still signed npt and entered into nsg so now why india should be given a special treatment is the question but even these countries have softened their stance even we are expecting that new zealand will also understand our situation and it soften its stance mexico has already given its approval for india's membership to nsg so we are trying to win over countries who are resisting so that we get more support and eventually enter nsg so this nsg npt basically is resisted because this nuclear non proliferation treaty segregates rules for nuclear power weapon states and non nuclear weapon states means nuclear weapon states already have nuclear weapons so they can go ahead there is no restriction on them on dismantling nuclear weapons but non nuclear weapon states cannot acquire nuclear weapons. and india if it signs npt it will be put under non nuclear weapon states category though it is acknowledged that india has already conducted nuclear tests and has nuclear weapons so india does not want to come under the category of non nuclear weapons so that is the basic condition why we are not signing npt and that is why because that is the reason why we are not getting easy entry into nsg so that's the whole thing so let's see we are trying to win over let's see what happens we'll hear further on this too then the next news item is india falls short in female literacy 
so this is a research being conducted by a new york new york based education commission who said that even after completing 5 years of education by women in india the literacy rate a percentage of women who become literate post this is only 48% means out of all if say 100 women who completed 5 years of schooling in india only 48% are actually literate as against the percentage in nepal be 92% pakistan 74% even bangladesh more than 50% so india ranks very low so this is regarding the quality of education say even after 5 years literate basically means that those who can read in a particular language so that condition is not fulfilled that means that the quality of education in india is low and that is also a reason being given that india maybe is very lenient in promoting students so it easily promotes students to higher classes without uh, assuring that they have reached particular levels of education so that is highlighted here then the next news item is ips forum demands pay parity with is cadre so ips rank officers a pay is a lower than is the pays and perks so seventh pay commission has recommended that they should be on parity based on the contribution and the work which they can accomplish so now they want as an old demand to they want parity here the home ministry which is the rule uh, controlling cadre for ips has already approved this and now it is with the ministry of personnel which is headed by the prime minister so they have made an appeal here that this should be hastened and pay parity should be brought in next is opium cultivation in afghanistan up by 10% so this is regarding opium which is cultivated in afghanistan by taliban so though drugs are banned under islam but this terrorist organization who talks of being an islamic terrorist organization actually promotes opium cultivation and it's trans it's exporting this opium throughout the world and is gaining revenue out of this which is used to promote its insurgency so this is an issue here which is highlighted by un presently then won't hesitate to act alone against terror groups in pakistan wants us so usa has warned pakistan's isi specially inter service intelligence he says that uh, the isi treats terrorist groups differently some terrorists are brought down and some groups are actually favored so there is a partial treatment here and they are specially worried about the haqqani network which is conducting insurgency and terrorist attacks in afghanistan so they want pakistan to act against this haqqani network otherwise usa says we will not hesitate to take in action ourselves in pakistan so that is a warning coming here then the next news item is world bank must aid countries to manage shift away from coal so world bank grouping has made a policy that they would not provide loans aid for coal based projects power projects so uh, uh, an expert says here that world bank should actually provide loans even for coal based projects but for ultra critical super ultra critical coal based projects which have low carbon emissions rather than the generally used sub critical coal based plants so thermal power will still be used even after renewables are used by many countries even usa will phase it out by 2030 india also having renewable energy as a major you know will be promoted majorly in india but still it will be dependent on coal so world bank refusing to give loans for coal based plants is not a step in the right direction rather it should facilitate that and provide loans only for super critical and ultra super critical coal plants then the next news item is rate cut economic panacea for all ills so it is questioning the repo rate which had been cut by rbi rbi with the with the decision been taken for the first time by monetary policy committee so this decision of rate cut was actually that the banks can easily avail credit so then this rate cut is expected to be transmitted into the economy through the banks and once this is done it will spur economic growth but it is seen that it is not the only way because we have always seen that when rate cut occurs at rbi banks are delay that transmission of that rate cut into the economy because they are suffering due to the npas non performing assets so is that sufficient is the question been asked in this article then the next news item is using crib monitors to power internet attacks so this article is regarding the recent internet drag which took place the internet slowed down on the east coast of usa 
recently because of an attack done on the systems there so we'll see that the internet of things is another issue which is discussed how everything is connected to the internet today and how can systems be slowed down by some glitches here so that is being questioned so we'll see this also now looking at some of the articles in detail so the first one about judicial delay you can see the supreme court strength is 31 percent 19 percent vacancy in high courts also vacancies are very high 55 percent in Allahabad. the no, you can see so 25 percent vacancy in high courts so this is about the delays in appointments due to that this is about under trials been lagging languishing in jails even though they could have availed bail but they are from poorer backgrounds and could not give bail money and that's why they are they are in jail for more than the sentence term which they would have got if convicted to so even government uh, supreme court has recently passed a judgment that if they complete half of the maximum sentence they could have got they should be released under trials then this is about john k visit Prime Minister of New Zealand, we are want NSG membership. This is the NSG members, these are the countries. Then this is about the NPT to countries who have signed the NPT, Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. India has not as you can see. So India, Pakistan, South Sudan, these are the countries which have not signed NPT to non-signatories. North Korea has withdrawn. Then this is about the female literacy as we saw. With 5th grade 2 the percentage is 48% in India. Literacy levels. Even after attending 5 grades. In women. Then this is about IPS demanding pay parity with IS. Opium cultivation we spoke about. Then this is about the Hakkani network which is prominent in spreading violence insurgency in afghanistan which is here in fata area of pakistan and pakistan isi supports it that is the allegation of us and he says that if isi does not act against them we ourselves will take things in our hand so that is the us warning to pakistan then world bank coal, coal plant should be given aid we discussed then this is about the rate cut repo rate which is the rate at which RBI lends to banks for short period. So if that lending rate is low means more, more banks can avail money from the RBI. So they have more credit which they can give to the in the economy also. So that is spurring economic growth that is targeted rather than inflation. So more money in the economy can result into inflation too. But the government says MPC specifically says inflation is well under control. We need to spur economy and that is also they are targeting NPAs, non-performing assets are high, so banks are not ready to give more loans, so that is affecting the economy. So government started many schemes like corporate debt restructuring, strategic debt restructuring, recent, as recently as this scheme for sustainable structuring of stress assets, but all these have failed to actually address the NPA issue. So that is again question. So inflation is still there, but government is targeting NPS. This is about the joint lenders forum. We have discussed this earlier too about the strategic debt restructuring that a joint lenders forum of all banks, financial institutions involved in a particular NP of a company and they would decide whether that debt should be converted into equity. Means banks will be stakeholders. So if the it is possible that that debt can be the company can spur into profits, then they would also get a benefit because they are equity holders. But then there are constraints involved because it's not necessary that just changing the management or taking things over will result in the company making profits. There may be some other external issues because of which it's an NPA. So those aspects also need to be addressed is spoken of. So and the last one about internet of things. So everything is connected to the internet. So if an attack and these everything means uh, no, refrigerators are connected to the internet, uh, non-driverless cars, they are also connected to the internet, alarm bells, camera systems, so when everything is connected to the internet, it results and they have passwords which are you know, normal passwords like 1234, 
or password or something like that so they can easily be hacked and then all of them are used to attack a particular server which delays things so that is about what happened in us presently too that they all avail a service at one time and everything gets slow so that is it thank you